Hi, this is Todd Saperstein, and I am going to discuss with you my RuneScape assessment uh, that I created. Uh, I had a really good time when we did the team uh, role-playing, and we kind of drew the dragon together as we were discussing. That was a lot of fun. So I wanted to try and incorporate some free drawing uh, along with my assessment video. So with a combination of ScreenFlow, uh, Word, and Flash, I'm going to try and give you some live drawing, almost like a Bob Ross uh, session for my assessment. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was create an acronym uh, for my assessment that not only defined my process, but fit my assessment subject matter well. Um, I toyed with the word adventure, uh, but it was too long of a word to, to find other words from it. Uh, then I tried skill, uh, but I didn't know what to do with the double L's. Uh, finally, I came along to the word game, uh, which worked perfectly. You know, sometimes uh, what you need is right there in front of your face, isn't it? So anyways, I used game, and game stands for gather, apply, master, and engage. Uh, the gather portion, which is the first portion, uh, is where you gather information from reading the RuneScape guidelines, uh, question and answer, and working with the avatar guides that RuneScape has built into their live tutorial. Uh, the, the assessment of this is this. Uh, in order to assess how students have done in the gathering portion of RuneScape, I would have them play a game very similar to Hangman. Uh, there would be questions and answers, fill in the blank, and true and false, uh, but it would all be done electronically using Flash. Uh, if the student got a correct answer, uh, they would slowly be able to build an avatar, uh, sort of a stick figure avatar, uh, medieval avatar. Each student could choose between a few different male or female avatars to build from. Uh, every answer they got wrong would remove a part. Uh, using Flash, I could really make this assessment engaging, and the graphics would be awesome. Uh, since there is four parts to my assessment, I will make each portion worth 25 points. And then an example of a question uh, would be, uh, what was the first task that you had to accomplish upon entering into RootScape? Um, so anyways, uh, like I said, it would be sort of a hangman thing, so we would have our, you know, our little... Uh, thing here um, and then there would be you know uh, a question you know yada 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 um, like I said the a good example of the a first question would be what would be the first task that you accomplished in the RuneScape tutorial so uh, if the student answered well uh, the first thing I did was learn how to chop down a tree uh, then they would click on check answer if that is correct uh, it would put the head on. Uh, then they would be that would be followed up by other questions, and slowly but surely um, they would build their hangman and uh, you know obviously clothe him. Okay. So and of course clothes are are good. So he would be uh, very happy. Uh, after he had some clothes on. So anyways, at this point I would know whether they have sort of uh, retained all the information that they have learned uh, during the gather session uh, section of uh, RuneScape. Okay, now on to the apply portion of my game assessment. Um, in order to assess how the students have done on the application portion of RuneScape, I would have them apply the knowledge to tasks that are similar to those performed in the tutorial of the game. Again, using Flash, I would develop like a poker-like game. Um, depending on the task you were asked to simulate, there would be up to five empty slots. Here they are right here um, at the top of the screen. Um, at the bottom of the screen, there would be uh, other cards with images on them matching certain tasks or tools that one might use. Based on the tasks that the student are asked to perform, they would drag the proper tools uh, necessary to complete the task and put them into the empty placeholders. Uh, they would then click the check answer, and if they were correct, uh, they could move on to the next question. 
uh, if any if any or all of the tools were incorrect they would have a second chance to discard those cards uh, and replace them with the correct ones uh, there would be five questions uh, worth five points each in the first three questions they would have to choose the right tools uh, only and in the last two questions they would not only have to choose the right tools but in the proper order of usage um, an example question would be in order to eat shrimp what tools and tasks would you have to accomplish? Um, the correct card answers would be fish the shrimp out, grab logs, use tinder to light the fire, cook the shrimp, and eat the shrimp. So, you know, for example, um, you know, different cards um, that there might be, uh, you know, this one might maybe have a picture of a sword on it. Um, and that would be incorrect. We wouldn't use a sword. That's not a very good sword. But, um, but then maybe you come across a picture and it's of a tree. Um, also incorrect. Uh, but then you might come across a picture of, you know, the um, three logs. And so you would click that and move it into there. And then you might see a picture of the uh, tinder box and so you would click that and put it in there uh, then you might see a picture of sort of a pond uh, with the little bubbles where you would go fishing and of course you would choose that then there might be another wrong one another wrong one another wrong one um, and then you would have a guy uh, standing by a fire and he would be cooking the shrimp so that would go right there and then a picture of a guy and he's bending his hand up and eating the shrimp and then that would go right there uh, so they would slide the right cards into place and then uh, they would move on to the next question